The Nifty 50, India's stock market bellwether, has taken a tumble recently. This decline has investors worried. So what does this mean for the average person? Well, a falling market can impact your investments and savings, and it can also signal weakness in the economy. The Nifty 50 represents the performance of 50 of the largest companies in India. When the Nifty falls, it means that, on average, these companies are losing value. This drop can be due to various factors, both domestic and global. Understanding these factors can help you make sense of the market's movements. A downturn is never good news for investors, but it's not the end of the world. It's important to remember that the stock market is cyclical. What goes down must eventually come up. However, timing the market is tricky. Trying to predict the exact bottom is nearly impossible. Technical analysts look at charts and patterns to predict future market movements. They use tools like support levels and Fibonacci retracement. Understanding these tools can give you an edge. Support levels are like flaws on a chart. They indicate a price level where a stock or index might stop falling and bounce back. These levels are determined by previous trading activity. When the price reaches a support level, buyers tend to step in, preventing further decline. Fibonacci retracement is another tool that uses a mathematical sequence to identify potential reversal points. These levels act as potential support or resistance zones. Traders use them to time their entries and exits. These technical indicators aren't foolproof. However, they can provide valuable insights into market sentiment. By combining technical analysis with fundamental analysis, you can make more informed investment decisions. Politics and economics are deeply intertwined. Elections, especially major ones like the Lok Sabha elections, can create uncertainty in the market. Investors get nervous about potential policy changes. This nervousness can lead to volatility. Different political parties have different economic agendas. A change in government can mean changes in regulations, taxes and spending. These changes can impact businesses and investor sentiment. For example, uncertainty about a new government's economic policies can lead to a sell-off. The period leading up to an election is often marked by increased market volatility. This volatility is driven by speculation and uncertainty. Once the election results are out and a new government is formed, the market tends to stabilize. Clarity on future policies reduces uncertainty. While elections can introduce short-term volatility, long-term investors should focus on the bigger picture. India's economic fundamentals and growth prospects remain strong. Don't let short-term political noise derail your long-term investment strategy. Corporate earnings are a key driver of stock prices. Investors eagerly await quarterly earnings reports to gauge the financial health of companies. Strong earnings typically boost stock prices, while weak earnings can lead to a decline. The recent Q4 earnings season in India has presented a mixed bag. Some sectors, like technology and pharmaceuticals, have reported robust earnings growth. This growth is driven by strong demand and global expansion. However, other sectors, such as automobiles and consumer goods, have shown signs of a slowdown. Factors like rising inflation and interest rates have impacted consumer spending. This slowdown is reflected in the earnings of companies catering to the domestic market. Investors are closely watching how companies are navigating these challenges. Analyzing company earnings goes beyond just looking at the numbers. Pay attention to management commentary on future prospects. Look for signs of growth, innovation and resilience. The Indian stock market is currently facing several headwinds. Global economic uncertainty, rising interest rates and geopolitical tensions are weighing on investor sentiment. Navigating this uncertainty requires a cautious and informed approach. Despite these challenges, India's long-term growth story remains intact. Factors like a young population, increasing digitization, and government reforms continue to drive economic expansion. Long-term investors should view market corrections as opportunities to buy into quality companies at attractive valuations. It's essential to maintain a diversified portfolio that aligns with your risk tolerance and financial goals. Don't panic and make impulsive decisions based on short-term market movements. 
Stay focused on your long-term investment strategy. Investing in the stock market involves inherent risks. It's crucial to conduct thorough research and understand the potential downsides before investing your hard-earned money. Don't solely rely on tips or recommendations from others. Take the time to learn about different investment options and asset classes. Understand the relationship between risk and return. Higher returns typically come with higher risks. Choose investments that align with your risk appetite. Remember, diversification is key to managing risk. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spread your investments across different asset classes, sectors, and geographies. This strategy helps to mitigate losses. Investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Stay patient, stay informed, and never stop learning. The more you know about the market and your investments, the better equipped you'll be to navigate its ups and downs.